YouTube. So today I'm going to be showing books I picked up from my pull list and a couple off the shelf. I usually don't do these kind of videos, but I want to basically try to get an idea of what my pull list looks like. Just talk, basically talk to myself. <laughs> so I'm inviting you for the ride. Uh, let me just separate a couple of things here. So it was a pretty eat, late week for me. Uh, last couple of weeks have been like stacks of books. So uh, I figured I'd just start in the middle of the month instead of starting the beginning of the month like normal people would. <laughs> but uh, first up, I picked up Batman Annual 3. I've been hearing a lot of good things about this book. I just haven't had a chance to read this one. I read a couple other things. <laughs> but uh, this will be next on the list here sometime during the weekend. But uh, yeah, I've been hearing but nothing but good stuff about this annual. So, and I'm not a fan of annuals. Or, as I call them, Batman Cash Grab, issue number three. Out of Flash, since we're at issue 60, what I've been doing with Batman, let me show the book. And be honest with you, I, I'm really not a fan of these covers too much anymore. <laughs> so I was looking through my uh, collection, and it's just such a pain in the ass. You know, I'm so used to the number up in the corner of the box. Now I got, uh, yeah, I, I got to look down at the bottom of the book. So, I mean, these are nice and all, but... Uh, I tried to f switch them out and stuff like that, so I think I'm going to tell the dealers I go to, the comic shop I go to, probably just uh, for now on on these covers. It stinks because I got like the last like probably 12 issues of these kind of covers, and it's just like they're nice and flashy and stuff like that. But I mean, with that, with, I can't tell what the hell's going on in this book, you know what I mean? Like, it's not a good selling point. So. Uh, for an update, I think I'm definitely going to be done with the, uh, I think they're called the Virgin covers or whatever. I mean, not really Virgin, because they still got writing all over them, but I think I'm done with the variant covers for that. Uh, we'll see. I mean, if it's a nice looking book. I have the feeling that, you know, I get these covers and one of these times it's going to be a real hot book or something and I'm not going to get it because it, I'll have like the regular cover and then it's going to mess me all up and stuff. Like I said, I might as well start at 61. <laughs> Uh, next up, I got. Um, I did read this one. It's the Batman Who Laughs. Yeah, it's a sick job cover. I really enjoyed this. Um, I also got the uh, variant. I know I just said went off about variants, but no, I mean I had to get this variant too. Great, cool, like killing this cover, man. It's just like so sick. But uh, I did a video a couple a couple months ago about how I'm burnt out on a certain character that's in this book. Uh, and I still am, but I mean, I thought it was okay. I mean, as as I flipped through, I was like, son of a bitch, here we go again. <laughs> so he's in a lot of titles right now, but uh, but it's okay. I mean, so this that's my pull list right here. Well, this too, I got the Batman the Damned. Hopefully there's, uh, I don't know, is there anything hot about this book? I mean, I went and bought it off the, sh the first issue off the shelf the first time, and I was so happy I was there the first day to get it. Because I end up getting home, and like a day later, I was like, you know, a $50 book for some reason. Well, we all know the reason, but I can't say it on the, the YouTube. <laughs> but, uh, but I thought this cover was really cool looking, so I'm just glad I went with the, uh, the regular version here. So, and I believe there's only one more issue of this. Uh, I think that's what the shop owner I, I talked to. He said there's only going to be three of those. I think it was originally supposed to be a 12 issue series or something and they stopped i don't know what the whole story is with that but so so far that's my pull list right now batman the batman who laughs uh batman damned and the flash uh i got other titles but i'll show them next week of course so i'm as of right now i'm keeping all those titles uh the flash is gonna is starting to get on the bubble for me uh what i've basically been doing with batman and the Flash, and so they're basically the only two titles left that I have to come out by weekly. I let them build up to either six or eight issues, and I start to read, read them all in like a um, one lump sum because I've been, uh, it just gets, gets to be too much. Like, you can see, I got look how much Batman I have here. Flash, not so much. Batman, it's just like every week it's something Batman. <laughs> and it's gonna get more because you'll see in a second here. So, again, those I'm gonna keep all those titles. Uh, Next week, I'll do another video. Like I said, this is going to be a month-long thing I'm going to do every week. 
and I usually don't share new books. I just, I just don't, just don't like doing it. So. <laughs> but this is just uh, basically me talking. I did pick up um, Batman Detective Comics. This is issue four, 994, so it's on the countdown to 1,000. And I figured out this is a good jumping on point. I heard a lot of good stuff about this book, too, and I read it, and it was a great detective story. I hope they keep with that. Because lately, detective comics has been, uh, you know, Batman and a couple of scrubs on this, you know, carrying a bunch of, uh, you know, wannabes <laughs> and some, you know, wannabe outsider team. And I just couldn't take it anymore. So I dropped this title about 14, 15 issues ago. But it, if it keeps up with this, like the detective part, I mean, I'll, I'm going to put this back on my pull list. This is on the bubble. This could be going back on my pull list. I'll wait till next issue. Yeah, at least go to a thousand. But I'm sure they're gonna do like Superman did <coughs> with their, uh, or I mean, sorry, with Action Comics, where they're gonna have like 12 different covers through the decades and stuff like that, and and I'll have to pick out which ones I want. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of decision making because I'm not gonna spend. You know, I'm probably gonna buy three of them maybe at most. And that's like you know what, 24 bucks right there. I bought two of the Superman ones. Uh, next up, I bought this off the, the rack. Uh, figured I'd give a, you know, support the, the hometown folks. Tom Scioli with GoBots, issue number one. I know a lot of people like to, you know, say, you know, GoBots are the cheap Transformers. And they could part, they're probably right. Because <laughs> when I was younger, that's all we got. I got the, uh, I got the airplane guy, it was the leader one, so... It's the only one I really got out of the package. Uh, and I got Megatron one for Christmas one time, too. So, uh, maybe this Christmas I might be a good boy and uh, I might be having something under my tree. So, check back my uh, Christmas haul. <laughs> I may or may not have bought myself something. I don't know. But, yeah, anytime I can support, like, local Pittsburgh people, like Ed Pisker, uh, Jim Rugg, uh, Ron Friends, Pat Leaf. Uh, Tom Scully, uh, any of those guys, I try to always buy their books off the shelf, uh, just to support them, you know, because uh, Pittsburgh's got a, I mean, wide variety of talented people here, and I mean, you got to support your local people, you know, get them, um, get them the, the numbers that they need, so they get more projects and stuff, so support Pittsburgh, <laughs> support your local town, wherever you're from. Now, the other thing I always buy off the shelf are these True Believers. I don't put them on my pull list. I mean, if I can't buy them, it's fine. But, uh, yeah, it's Fantastic Four. It's Dragon Man. The Super Scroll. And the Molecular Man. Molecule Man. Not the Molecular Man from Conan O'Brien. <laughs> but that's my pull list from this week. Uh, it's been a pretty penny. Uh, but my shop takes care of, you know, gives me a decent dis discount. So it's always... Uh, it's always pretty cool. But I uh, again take the possibility going back on my pull list, at least for those. You know, five issues left, so. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I mean, that's why I'm not a real big fan of uh, doing reviews or anything like that. I just. I don't want to review something you just read, you know. <laughs> my opinion is. Everything in my pull list, I buy. And then you see, I do buy it. So I, anything I put in that list, in that pile, I mean, I recommend it. So go out and buy it now. All right. Talk to you next time. And check out my Instagram.